If Motherwell do not win this evening, then Celtic are SPL champions. Stuart McCall's side, though, also looking to try and achieve second place. Here's Higdon, it sits up nicely for Michael Higdon! And what a start for Motherwell! Inside two minutes, and Michael Higdon lashes in his 23rd league goal of the season. Spectacular strike from 25 yards out. It just bobbled nicely for him, and in off the post. What a start. Higdon onto Oyama. Oh, and Oyama's going through here. A calm finish. And what a start it is for Motherwell. Just eight minutes played. Henrik Oyama with number two. Didn't he take this well? It's just his third goal of the season. And it was quite beautifully finished off by the Estonian. Humphrey. Higdon is there, comes short, space for the shot, and drilled into the far corner by Michael Higdon. His second of the evening. Motherwell. 3-0 up at Tannadice, and Michael Higdon scores for the seventh time in his last seven games. Daly, the target, as always, gold. Daly, this time they've found a way past Randolph. It's John Daly, who scored twice at Hamden on Sunday. It's his first SPL goal of 2013, incredibly. Here's Baird. McAllister, great chance and scores! Jim McAllister, five minutes before half-time, has Dundee ahead. His fourth of the season, two of them have come against St Mirren. It's Gary Teal's corner, met by Thompson! That's 1-1. One, one. Well, it's Stephen Thompson's 16th goal of the season. His first in the league since January. Easton. Finnegan now. And Harkins. He's got such good quick feet. Oh, great ball in to Finnegan! Was it over the line? A consultation between the officials. And the goal is given, Carl Finnegan, nine minutes from time, and Dundee lead against St Mirren. Their SPL hopes are still alive. Well, this must have been agonisingly close. One for goal line technology, you would assume. It is very tight. And Kilmarnock must have surely thought that they would be playing in the top six this weekend. But for two of their former players, Gary Harkins and Rory Boulding, who scored goals to knock them into the bottom six. Stevenson, a long raking ball, that finds Ngu, who's behind Sissoko, Ngu turns, Sutton! 1-0 Hearts, four minutes played, and it's John Sutton with number eight for the season. Kilmarnock caught out by the long ball. Ngu took his time, kept his composure and squared it for his strike partner.